When starting the engine for the first time, or if engine has run out of fuel, it will take extra pulls of the starter handle in order to move fuel from the tank to the engine. The fuel tank is located on top of the engine. The tank capacity is 3 quarters of a gallon, 2.8 liters. The engine will run on a minimum of 87 octane unleaded gasoline. Do not mix gasoline with oil and do not use an ethanol blend of gasoline that is higher than E10, 10% ethanol. To start the engine, first place throttle control in the fast position. Turn the fuel shutoff valve one quarter turn to the open position. Move the choke control to the full choke position. Grab the recoil starter handle with one hand and hold the tiller handle with the other. Pull the rope out slowly until the rope tensions. Next, pull the handle quickly. Do not let the starter handle snap back against the starter. Once the engine fires but does not start, immediately move the choke control to the half choke position and pull the starter handle until the engine starts. Slowly move the choke control to the run position and allow the engine to warm up for a few minutes before engaging the tines. To shut off the unit, move the throttle to the stop position. To begin tilling, first, adjust the depth stake to achieve the desired tilling depth and lock it into position. Set the shift level indicator on rear time models. Hold the drive control bar or lever against the handle on rear time models. Hold the forward rotation lever on front time models to allow the tines and or wheels to turn. For deep tilling, move the throttle control to the fast position. For cultivating, the throttle control can be set at any desired speed, depending on how fast or slow you wish to cultivate. If you are breaking in a new tiller, you should first start the engine tip the tines off the ground, and rotate them for about five minutes in order to break in the belts, pulleys, and tine control before using the tiller for the first time. If you are having difficulty shifting, briefly engage the drive control bar and release or rock the tiller forward and backward until you are able to shift gears.